Hello everyone, I'm Jim, an application engineer with CAD Dimensions. Today's tech tip is meant to get you started making your own custom weldment profiles. In today's example, I'm creating profiles for lumber so I can start planning a project I'm working on at home. So let's start by opening a new part and creating a sketch. I'm going to use the front plane and my center rectangle. And then I'm going to add some construction lines because I want to have multiple sketch points in my profile to allow flexibility later when I'm trying to locate my profiles. Now that I have my 2x4 profile created, we must save the profile. To do this, we need to select the sketch. Then select Save As and choose Library Feature or .sldfp. Now I've already created a folder and a subfolder in the default Weldment Profiles location, which can be found in the System Options under File Locations. The first folder I create is named Custom, and the subfolder is named Lumber. I'm going to save this inside the Lumber subfolder, and I'm going to name it 2x4. You can see I've also created another profile for each size that I may use for my project. So here's a 3D sketch I created for my project. When I select the structural member feature, you can see the reason I created this folder structure. It corresponds to the Weldman profile dropdowns, which have options to select the standard of profile, the type of profile, and the size of profile. You'll notice under size it shows two different profiles I created, 2x4 and 4x4, that were located in the sub folder I created previously. Now that we've created some custom profiles, I'm going to show you a second technique. This technique, we're going to use configurations to generate multiple profiles contained in one sketch instead of creating separate sizes for each size profile. With this technique, we also have a different folder structure. Instead of creating a folder with a subfolder in the default location, we're only going to create one folder, which I've named Lumber. So, like the sketch in the first technique, we created our profile, but this time we're going to right-click on the sketch and choose Configure Feature, where we can create configurations for multiple size profiles. This is a much faster way of creating more than one profile at a time. Now we're going to save this file as a library part like we did in the first technique, but in this case we name the profile Pressure Treated Lumber, which corresponds to the type dropdown of the structural member, and use the configurations to correspond to each size of profile. So now you should be able to create your own custom profiles. Thanks for watching.